Okie doke. Now we are on the front of the second page. And we have been talking about the establishment of Catholic missions, towns, ranches, and individuals. And so on this one, we're going to talk about, whoops, towns. Towns and settlements are going to be built near the missions. And colonists are going to be brought to grow. Um, they're going to be brought over to grow and survive. And then the first group of colonists establishes a community in the Canary Islanders, with the Canary Islanders in San Antonio in 1730. We're going to see the growth of ranches and cattle because it's much easier to raise cattle than it would be to do farming. Um, here's an important guy, Frey Damien Massenet, Massenet, and he is convinced the viceroy of he convinced the viceroy of New Spain to colonize East Texas. Uh, next we have Jose de Escardion. In the 1750s, he's a military commander and a governor for Nueve Santar, Santander. Santander. He led Spain's expansion effort in South Texas. And he is going to establish missions, presidios, and also settlements. The next one that we have is Antonio Marguil de Jesus. In the early 1700s, he is a Spanish priest, and he is, there was some problems in East Texas, so he moved to San Antonio and founded San Jose y San Miguel, which is one of five missions in San Antonio today. So the area around San Antonio had several missions. One of them becomes the Alamo later. Next we have Francisco Hidalgo in the early 1700s, and he is a priest at Mission San Francisco de los Tejas. And uh, he contacts the French Catholic priests to provide religious services to the local native people when the Spanish priests are not available. And as you can imagine, this causes some issues. Spanish, uh, the Spanish are going to be suspicious of French colonization and missionaries. So, moving on to the next page. Oop, I love this thing. This is called the Chicken War. History is so random. I just love it. Okay, the Chicken War, French soldiers were set to capture a Spanish mission in Los Adias in East Texas. Um, but there was a conflict, and the French soldiers looted. Whoop, I didn't spell that right. L-O-O-T-E-D. They looted the mission, and they captured a Spanish soldier. The French leader was thrown from his horse because of chickens in the courtyard. The Spanish soldier was able to escape. And this story was then exaggerated. It was made into a much bigger uh, situation and it embarrassed the Spanish viceroy, which is like a governor. The Spanish became determined to hold Texas. The incident showed the vulnerability of missions in East Texas and Spanish missionaries eventually abandoned 
the missions in East Texas and retreated to San Antonio de Valero. Part three of our notes, early settlers adapted to the environment. Hey, that sounds like chapter one. That sounds like when we studied about Native Americans. They used local material such as timber and rock for construction of building homes and furnishings in order to adapt to the climate of the regions. Homes were built with breezeways. And then the breezeways created shade and they could catch the breeze, obviously. Okay, sorry about that, I had to catch the phone. Okay, so um, the dog wrong homes and then, oh, I knew that was gonna happen. Buckskin, clothes, uh, hold 